Hello guys, uh, it's Janis Wittenberger from United Gossels. Uh, I got top 8 on the Extravaganza Giant Card event th today. And I play, play Trabugate Zoo, and this is my list. Of course, we play Standard 3 Noble, 3 Kit, 3 Factual, and 2 Karas for the Extenders. Uh, which is, of course, almost the max, and Karas is just breaky as fuck, so... You don't want to play more, more, more than that. Most hands you lose is just Keras and four non-engine cards, and then you just, yeah, you're stuck. But uh, all in all, great cards. I really like them. And of course, the deck is only going to get better from here on here on out with the support cards in the next set. Uh, the Zodiacs, only three, of course. Standard, Red Pier, Wood Tail, and Ram. Um, they just give you so much f uh, farther in the, in the graveyard and... Zeus is of course also an amazing card, so it just uh, adjusts the place of the deck very, very well in my uh, perspective. That's very cool. And you have to play some hand traps, but it didn't go too hard. I only played uh, the three ashes and the two phantasmae. The ashes are of course overall good against anything, and you need them against Shadow, I think, because the Shadow Fusion is really, really powerful, and Shadow was relatively. Um, Relatively popular this uh, this event, at least what I saw, and uh, yeah, the Phantasmans performed horribly for me. Uh, I played a little uh, locals yesterday, four rounds and six rounds today, and I played nine decks against it should have been life, and I never resolved the card. But I think you still need it. But I don't know. I have a weird relationship with it at the at the, at the moment. So I'll have to, have to see. Maybe I'll cut it for an upstart. Or, but ah, it's a good intel. Oh, I don't know. It's I don't know. And I played a three alphas in the in the in the main deck, uh, because of the uh, shuttle matchup. It's just bonkers against that, and it's just o overall a really really good card. Even if you go first and you have to keep it in in, in your hand, and your opponent uh, maybe clear, clear, clears your board to like eighty percent or something, if one monster left 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 over and some follow up, then it's just really really good card. So I I really in, enjoyed it. And else would keep it in the main. It's it's really, it's really good in my opinion. It's of course very flexible and then in a simplified game state from the top of your deck it's just an auto win. So that's a good card. And the spells, three thinky, three desires, and the one offs, barrage, uh, harpies, feather duster, and cold. Um these are of course just very, very good. The tankies get into the zodiacs and the uh, fractal, so nothing to say here in desires is I think the correct pot to play in this deck because your extra deck uh, gets spammed somewhat and you can get uh, it can get emptied uh, sometimes. So and you all, almost always play three of the of the good engine cards. So you have no worries, worries there. Barrage of course broken as fuck and feather dust in the main is uh, for also it's decent against shadow and uh, I just. Uh, tried a little bit different different style with this deck was also playing the Imperial Order just looking at the OCG and they they always play the powerful one-off cards and I thought I'll try it try it right out and I have to say it worked out perfectly for me I sometimes drew the order when it was going first and the storm when it was going second and it's just like an auto win so I will probably keep them in going first and of course the order is at the moment really really good against the shuttle of course they have auto lose against this and uh, Everybody's playing pots like always, and I like the both cards. And call is just against the random Lancia, and of course versatile against most decks. So I think it's a solid card. Oh, let's keep it. And we have to play some traps in this deck. So I played three strikes, two ice dragons prison, and three revolt with the order of course. And uh, revolt is biggest plus card of the deck and keeps it viable i guess and the other cards are just spread out across all matchups where they were really 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 good and you can sometimes break boards with the strike when you go when you go second and go revolt strike and get rid of a bunch of their stuff and first of course this is your recovery i think this was just the most uh, versatile traps against all the matchups um the strike is debatable but i really liked it so oh i like the uh, i love the Line like this and Ice Dragon's Prison is just 
insane against Dinosaur. If they go OV, Pitch, Misk, and you chain, they just always, always, they just pass. And I really like that. And yeah. So um, I was really happy with the main deck, except of the Phantasmus, but I don't know what to do about that. So <laughs> whatever. Um, Extra Egg Pre Standard, uh, two Shurak, and one uh, Rugal, and two Ferragit at the moment. Of course, we have to fit in the new. Uh, link if it comes uh, when it when it comes out and this number worked out good for me uh, Shurik is of course a very, really really good card uh, Sometimes you can always uh, maybe sometimes you can even search the alpha with it. So it's just really flexible. I like it uh, Second best card in the extra deck uh, besides Shurik is the ancient warrior guy It's your main inter 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 interruption into all, all almost all matchups uh, even against some back row decks they always fit those floodgates and it's just always, always solid. The all, all, all Mirage for unbreaking the small guys like Neural and Kit, which comes up, yeah, it, it, it comes up more often than not. Uh, the Beaters, Access Code and uh, Apalooza to keep you safe of, of Nibiru. And like the Access Code and Rugal is just like almost all games end like, end like this. If they don't have, any, have, have Nibiru, you'll always kill them turn two. So really, really solid lineup here. Uh, one card I also didn't make too much is the, the Doom Eagle. Um, it's it's a weird card, but I don't know what to what to play from. Pro probably this is this is a spot for the uh, for the new link. So I'll see going forward. It has some uh, some application against Dinosaur also, and against some Dragon Link shenanigans when you can shuffle back in their Brawl Tower or their or their Cypher or something like that. But it's very niche. So yeah. but uh, but I didn't need anything else. So. I oh, didn't didn't mind it so, and of course for Zodi uh, for zodiacs, which is the perfect perfect amount of things you can uh, make some combo plays going 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 first with these three and still keep uh, Zeus and uh, Iberbo uh, Bo Borbo in your extra deck to have the option to go for that later, and yeah Dryden is of course really pretty powerful so it's a perfect perfect lineup here, I really like that, I really like the zoo aspect of the deck. Uh, that is just you have two engines that your opponent has to worry about. So uh, they all they some people all, of course don't know what the what the deck does at the at the moment, and then they just negate the wrong thing, things, and then the zoo just goes through, and they just lose lose against that. Um, three three Nibiru against some random combo decks, and of course Dragon Link and all that good stuff. Um, I liked it, and I think it's still needed. It's sometimes iffy, but uh, I I think I'll go forward with it. Three Dark World, of course, to draw with Phantasma, but that, of course, never happens. And, uh, yeah, but of course, against uh, Shadow, and it's, it's a good card, of course. Um, two, two Cyclones against everything that sets anything. Pankatrops for just an all-over good going second card. If you go second with the deck, you just, of course, side out the, the trap cards, and then you have the Alpha, the Cosmics, the Pankatrops, and uh, the Evenlays, and that just beats all the control decks so hard. Is just beautiful. They always just like set two, three cards, and it's it's in, insane. You know, the Emily performed very well for me. And I play one more going first card, uh, different different dimension ground. It just stops. I think almost. I can't think of a deck that can OTK you through this. So of course it uh, into the interaction with uh, Revolt isn't too great, but I think at at, at that point if you have both. You of course set 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 the revolt uh, still, and you resolve the different dimension ground and just go uh, the revolt in, in your turn and go for the OTK anyway. So I think it's not too big of a deal, and it's really really good card. So yeah, that's basically it. And of course, shout out to the team and Sven Redman for testing with me. And uh, yeah, have a have a nice Corona time. Bye.